In this short video tutorial, we will understand the importance of the break statement with the default case. In the previous video, we understood why we write the default case because if no other cases they match with the value of the decision variable, the default case will automatically get executed. So in, in this program, which we wrote in the previous video tutorial, the value of a is 10. Therefore, both these cases will not match and automatically the control will shift to the default case. Now, mostly in the books, the default case is written at the end of uh, the switch statement. So after all other cases, at the end, the default case is written. But this is not, this is not mandatory. So you can also write the default case in the beginning of the switch statement or you can write the default case in between other cases also. So it's not compulsory to write the default case at the end of the switch statement. Now, when you have created the default case at the very beginning, it will behave like normal cases. And if no other case will match, the default case will uh, be executed and this line of code will get executed. Now, in the absence of the break statement, so notice we have written break statements for both these cases but we have not written the break statement for the default case. Now, because we have not written the break statement for the default case, so after the execution of this line of code, the control will move into the, the case number one and this line will get executed. Why? Because we are not indicating to the default case that after printing this line or after executing this line, it should stop and go out of the body of the switch statement. So let's run this code and see the output. Notice that this line default case has been printed and then this line print F A got executed and A has been printed on the screen. Now to avoid, uh, to avoid the execution of other cases, uh, when we execute the default case, we have to make use of the break statement with the default case also, because the break statement will indicate the program that after execution of this line, it should break out and go outside the body of the switch statement. So let's run this code and see that now only this line default case has been printed on the screen and the code did not shift into the next case. So because the default statement is mostly written at the end of the switch, uh, at the end of the switch statement. So mostly you will notice that break statement is not used with the default case but you should make it a habit to write the break statement with every case that you write in the switch statement, even with the default case, because the default case can be written anywhere, maybe in the beginning or in the middle somewhere or at the end of the uh, switch case statement. So with this, I hope you have understood the importance of the break statement with the default case also. So with this, we will end our short tutorial here. To access our complete C programming course, please visit openeschool.com slash learn C. Also, please subscribe to our channel to get regular updates on the new videos that we post.